Oh my goodness. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Morning. We look like Afternoon. Messes. Yes, we do. Look at this disgusting look face. Today we are doing a get ready with me slash answering your icks and questions that mm. we've got through. Just having a little chit chat yeah. really. It's been it, a while, hasn't it? It has, yes. It's currently um, five to three because we're really lazy. So Yeah, we haven't filmed in a while because of yeah, personal, just personal reasons. reasons. Just Not been a great time. It so. hasn't, no. But we're back. Better than ever. And we look like this. But <laughs> we're going to get ready. What a comeback. Have a chit chat. <laughs> What is going on? Like, why is my face like that colour? I don't know. It can't even go any higher, can it? Put the put it down a little bit, maybe. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Do you think? Yeah, because look at my face. There we go. That's amazing. That. Right. I've got my mirror here, and it's absolutely filthy. Look. I've got some bickies. Yeah. Let me put some moisture on. Mm. This is my favourite moisturiser. Yeah. It's. I've actually have used a lot, but. Hard your genius. I thought it was good aqua or something. Because it's like a gel. I like a gel. First question. Where do you see yourself in five years? And what's your aim? Well. I don't really know. No, I think that's a hard question. At because of minute, all this stuff going on, you don't know if it's going to hurry on for that long. Hopefully yeah. not. But Five years. So how old will we be? So we're going to be 19 next month. So, so 24, the, nearly 24. 20, nearly 24. So by 24, I reckon I hope I have a kid. <laughs> 24? 24. Yeah, that's oh, like my 20. ideal age to have a kid. No way. My mum had me at 27. I want to be a bit younger than she is. With my age now. No way. Yeah. I, I want to be settled by 24, I think. Moving out. Well, yeah, I hope because, to do that within the next few years. Yeah, but I don't think it's realistic. So, 24, moving out um, with the, whoever I'm with at the time. Yeah. Knows, um, I want to be financially stable. Yeah, which is a hundred... Unrealistic, isn't it? But <laughs> I don't want to have kids by 24. I, I do. That's a bit soon. No. But each to their own. So yeah, just moving out, hopefully just happy um, with a job at this point. I don't really mind what the job is, but we just have to see what happens. Go with the flow, really. Ah, found it. Um, that's where I see myself, really. So I was looking for. Oh yeah, to say I'm using this. It's just like a brow gel from Revolution. It's quite good. So just financially stable, I want to be settled with someone and have a kid. I mean, that's a lot in five years, but I can make it work. I haven't even got a boyfriend, mate. Yeah, all right. I need to rub it in my face. No, well, no, I'm just saying, like, you really are going dreaming big. Yeah. If you could live anywhere in the UK, where would it be? <laughs> Up north? No, I don't know, though. I don't want... I know, yeah, I like the accent. I love the accent, and I think there's so much more... To, obviously, London is. I would love to live in London, but it's just. I mean, it's so expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I know. And Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. Anywhere like that, like nice places, not For like our age. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where we live now, really nice. Really, do you know what I mean? It is really Beaches. nice, and I would want to move back here in a couple of years' time if I've had my With like nightlife family. and stuff like that. My family, yeah. My kids' school over here. Like, and then when they're older, they can choose where they want to live. But I think the, obviously, Point the rate of crime and stuff like that, I think that's what's good about this place, is we literally Don't are know. quite a safe place, aren't we? Yeah. There is still things that happen over here. We are, compared to everywhere else, safe. So I think whilst I'm young, I'd want to live somewhere up north, like accent, there's so many like different people. And obviously with the island, knowing everyone, it's not yeah. great, is it? I know everyone says, oh, it's the same everywhere you go. But because we're such a small place, literally everyone thinks they know everything about you. Yeah, 100%. And, and they don't. No. 
and even if like it is like that around other places you won't know everyone and by this age it's kind of like people won't know anything about you because they don't know like from yeah. your early years of teenager or whatever they don't know all your business so even still if everyone knows everyone's business there they won't know mine yeah so i think yeah that. somewhere up north and then move back here are you told them what you're using i don't really know what i'm using it's a l'oreal paris dip brow thing i don't really know Where's my mum's i'm just using this to so conceal have you done your eyebrows already my eyebrows yeah i literally just do that really oh my jesus christ this any eyebrow. plans for this year's holidays festivals etc we want to pretty much get as much as we can done in this year as we can to be honest yeah but obviously with because we haven't been able to work i oh, know i've been on furlough but my furlough hasn't been great no so it's yeah. hard it's unrealistic to do everything we want to do but we do want to go on holiday don't we the we things do. that we've got one festival booked which is probably going to be quite good if it goes ahead yeah. um and then obviously we'll end up going to the isle of Wight festival probably because even though I, well, I haven't got any tickets booked but no but i was like festival tickets are on sale all the time it always ends up happening you can easily find one can't you yeah exactly our main aim is just to go on one holiday and one a few festivals because with the festivals that's hard again because obviously they're all sold out because everyone's yeah. just wants to go rushing to go aren't they and they've just yeah obviously probably been saving throughout corona and when they can go it's our first year being legal because we obviously didn't get to go when we were 18 yeah no we? so we're 19 this year and we can actually go out so obviously we're gonna i think what we're gonna do a lot more is like go out on the mainland as in like manchester and yeah. bigger nights out for like, big like clubs. obviously it's a bit annoying because when we do turn 19 in a month's time we can't Absolutely. still go out we can obviously go to spoons and go in the beer gardens and stuff but it's not quite the same as it like we had our 18th birthday which was like a year ago now planned for donkeys since we were 16 and it never happened and it's just anything from that it's kind of just yeah because anything year, just take anything isn't it now we did nothing no but we literally couldn't because it was full like full 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 lockdown full lockdown yeah just a lot more going out when we can making the most of it not taking anything for granted definitely not and no just, more excuses to not go out on a yeah, night out and so just, like, we're going out even if i look like a homeless enjoying person that, in the shower. aren't we and that's really the plan yeah it's just yeah how are you both coping with lockdown to be fair now not that bad normal. last year when it first obviously went into lockdown and stuff i was literally a mess wasn't i like mm. we were both messes and it's just it was like, what are we going to do with our lives? We've never had to... We've never, it, yeah. Especially at our age. I think our, like, age group would have suffered the most because we didn't get to go out at all. Like, we literally turned 18 the month after we went into lockdown. 100%. So. And obviously adults have their families, don't they? They're like, when you're settled, you have, like, your kids and you have everything to keep you busy. Like, yeah. even if you can't go out, you still have a lot at home that will keep you occupied whereas we don't like we just want to see our friends like our day-to-day -day life would be seeing our friends and going to college and seeing our friends and stuff like that yeah. and obviously when it first went into lockdown it was really hard but yeah. i think now we've just at the point where we get used to it and i feel like normal life's going to be harder than lockdown life now yeah because it's going to be so out of the like ordinary isn't it yeah, because we've gotten used to lockdown. Yeah, and That's it's going to be really now. weird. And I feel a lot of people are going to be uncomfortable. Not going to be able to communicate. Yeah, and like going to be really awkward, like socially awkward, because obviously you just learn to live with yourself. Yeah. So I feel like that aspect of it, I'm not struggling that much, to be fair. Not now. Not Definitely now. a lot better now, because you kind of have to accept it and you can't do anything, so... No, exactly. You've got to get on with life and then it's down to you. Uh, what you make of it isn't it yeah because you're never gonna you know go for it again so exactly well fingers crossed well hopefully it won't happen again next year yeah so we're on to x now people's x um you that's nice yeah i don't know who put that um the other one is so you thanks for good take that. you to do my thanks a lot my did i oh i need to get my eyelash 
I've got one in my bag. The exact same one. Yeah. Mm. Two. Single eyeshadow. Do you remember these? Oh my god, yeah. What do you right. use that for? Your eyeliner? No, I don't usually, but I found it and I thought, oh, I could use that. Ix, when people ask irrelevant questions. I don't really get it. No, I don't really get this one either. Um, so, like, things that don't matter. I don't know. I guess that could be an ick for someone, but Why is that an ick? I don't really understand that one myself. So no, I don't understand that really. I don't. Irrelevant questions. I guess it could be annoying. Everyone asks irrelevant questions now and then. Yeah, exactly. But it wouldn't if you're with someone and they ask you an irrelevant question. You're telling me that you'd hate them. Cringe. That you'd cringe at that. No, oh, because you wouldn't. No, it, it's annoying. But I don't. I wouldn't say it's an ick. Is it annoying, really? Because well, yeah. If you're talking about something and then someone's like, "Oh, this is this is about something that you're not talking about," and it's completely irrelevant, it's a little bit like, "What? What is the point?" Do you know what I mean? But it's not like. Ugh. Yeah, but they might genuinely be asking that. They might not think it's irrelevant. True. Yeah, and no, I really don't get that one. No, me either. At all. Right. Sorry, I'm talking like that. I'm like. When girls know. talk badness. Again, I don't get it. Um, I guess this just means when girls talk like they're hard. Like chav girl talk. They put it on. They put it on like, oh, I'm all bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to go rob a store or something. Store? A store? What am I? A American? shop. A shop. Trying to act all big and manly. I can get that. I understand that one, to be fair. Because that really does annoy me, to be honest with you. To be fair. To be fair. Again. Be fair. Oh, where's my little? Where's it gone? So I'm using the um, uh, how do I pronounce this? Infallible. infallible. Where's my tape? Twenty four hours. It's don't know. This is in the shade. Don't know the question answer to that either. Oh, it's on my eye. <sighs> oh my god. Two twenty sand. Just need to fix. This. I think it's quite a good match. To be fair, not gonna lie to you. To be fair, not gonna lie to you. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of, um... To be fair, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll go with it. Mm. This is a look. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm trying to get all the creases and crevices on my face. Lies. Oh, yeah. Lies. A hundred percent. I wouldn't quite... It's, mm. it's definitely an ick. I wouldn't really say it was an ick. It's more of a pet peeve. No. An ick's like a ugh. Yeah, it would um, like make you not like them anymore. If someone's continuously lying and lying, it's the same. Right, I don't, it's probably going to cut off again. It just cut off. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, yeah. Lies, yeah. They are... Definitely an off put. Yeah, but I still don't think they're an ick. Because an ick is an off put. Uh, it would put you off someone. No, because it's not, is it? An ick is like a... So if someone kept say, lying to you no, that's about like them cheating... An ick is something. something that you go, ugh. Like, if someone trips over, it's like an ick. That's not an ick, though. Everyone trips over. No, but that's like some people's icks. If a boy trips over the pavement and you're like, oh, that's cringe. Like, that's an ick. It's not yeah. your ick. You need to grow up. <laughs> that's not my ick, but... No, not you, but... Yeah, but some... Everyone has... Yeah. I don't really know how I feel about that lying ick. I mean, I hate liars, hate them, but I don't, I wouldn't class it as an ick, to be honest. If you lie, you're just going to grow yourself a big hole, lying, lying. One lie causes a whole tree of lies. Does that make sense? Probably not. Right, second, not the second one, but the next one. Not giving a F about anything. That is an ick, yeah. Just thinking that they're not. No, like not giving a about anything so not giving a no goals oh right so like literally not caring about anything them. in the world it's just yeah i think everything comes to them yeah people like that really do really 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 annoy me right really annoy me a lot yeah that is just no i don't give a f about anything but we clearly do, do you know what i mean like and then they'll think they're all big man i don't know all over. So I get everything hand to me on a plate. Yeah, there's too many people like that. There is. You just think everything comes to them. 
that's what I'm using, this powder. Oh yeah, I'm using the, um, what's this mascara called? Sky High Maybelline. It's really good. Really enjoy. Oh no, not that word again. Enjoy. Oh, I haven't said it in a while. Anyway, yeah, so people like that do my head in. Yeah, no, just, do you know what I mean? It's just... To keep away from people like that. Yeah, because... they just put you down because they're like, yeah. oh, I don't give a crap or anything like about anything or anyone. Like, yeah, literally. they think there's something else if they do that because they clearly think they're better than anyone else and that they can get through life with just not putting any effort into it and not having any goals or anything. It just, I just don't see, like, the... I don't see the point. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can't just. Nothing's going to just come to you, is it? No, but they're the type of people that think it will. Yeah, that's what I mean. That it definitely is an ick, and that definitely is something that I really don't like. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad we agree. Yep. No cooler IDs. So this one... Okay, uh... Controversial. This one, yeah. This one was put by someone that clearly was trying to aim it at me, because... I'm going to be honest, the other day I did call my ex on my caller ID. Not to be a psycho, but just because they'd had me blocked. And you know when you just feel like you just want to speak to them, just just to see how they are? Not anything bad, not to give them shit, but it didn't end up very well, did it? I mean, it ended up being a bit of a disaster. And then he clearly went and told everyone that I called him no caller ID and that I was a psycho and stuff like that. So... I this if one, it's anyone else's business anyway. Yeah, this one was a little bit aimed towards me personally. No caller ID, yeah, it's annoying in a way that if someone was to prank call you and, and call you on no caller ID. Consistently, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like this was just a simple little check up. How are you doing? And then I just got nothing back from it. So I'm never going to do that again. But You learn from your mistakes, don't yeah. you, at the end of the day? You've admit and you've done it. If someone calls me on no call ID and pretends to be someone else, like that is an ick. Like that, it's just why bother? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, fair enough. On TikTok Live the other day, we were doing it, but that's because of other people's entertainment. And they knew that they were getting the call. Like their friends would put their numbers in and we'd pretend to be someone else. It's not like we're pretending to be, do you know what I mean? Like we're not doing it to annoy someone or to like be like, oh, huh, it's all funny. Yeah, and like I said, if it's like an ex that won't leave you alone on local OZ, then absolutely, mm. that is, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not yeah. going to... It all depends what the reason's for, I guess. And yeah. if it's just for, like, fun, once in a while, fair enough. If it's for what I did, like, your ex has blocked you, you just want to see how they're doing or whatever, or you just need to speak to them to just get some closure or some do you know what i mean like yeah, about yeah, like no reasonable to things to do it for then yeah fair enough but if it's for no reason and you're just being childish then yeah that is and it yeah that's ugh. cheaters <sighs> no one likes to cheat let's be honest um i mean if you have cheated on someone I'm not going to say you're the worst person ever because everyone does make mistakes, yeah, do you know what I mean? not everyone. I know everyone says, oh, once a cheat, always a cheat. That's not, I don't feel that's a realistic that's point, is it really? You're, just, you're just thinking very one-minded, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, if you're not very open-minded about it, then yeah, I get it. If you don't want to give someone another chance because they've done it once, that's completely up to you. But then again, on the other thing, if you do want to give them another chance, then... It all depends, doesn't it, really, how many times that someone's cheated. Because mm -hmm. if, obviously, they cheat on you, and really then say dark. they're never going to do it again, and never do it again, and, obviously, you stay with them or give them another chance, then fair enough, good on you, good whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no harm in giving someone another chance, is there, if mm -hmm. you really think that they can prove themselves. Don't let yourself, like... Being like, yeah, don't let yourself get used by them or like over just over. because they know that you could let it happen, just don't let them know that you'd let it happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, Make don't give them the satisfaction of them being able to do it and you taking them back. But at the end of the like, day, it is your choice, and we're not saying, oh, don't get back with someone if they do cheat on you, but just don't like let, let it happen. Like. Yeah, don't let it happen to yourself, don't let yourself get walked all over by 
someone that can just cheat on you and cheat on you and cheat on you. This foundation is really dark. It was when I had tan on, but my tan's all come off, so I am very aware it doesn't match. Really good. I'll lighten it up maybe with some concealer. Just dropped everything on Oh the floor. my Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Concentration face, hold on. Zoeva concealer because it's very light so it might give us a bit of if I do that maybe leave it up here is that better oh, I don't know Using this is this powder, a Revolution peach powder. It smells like peaches. Does it? Yeah. Never noticed. But where's me mascara? I'm using the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline. This is a look. Ow! Oh. I still need to do my hair. All I do for that, really. Then I use Mac. Give me sun. Give me sun. Give me sun. Give me sun. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. This is also orange. So. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Wow, I've got a fat head. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Wow. Beautiful. That will do for the Give Me Sun because it's orange. I don't need any more orange. Well, give me oil in my hair. How many bronzers did you put on? Two because this one's a bit cooler. I don't put much of it on, but it just doesn't look a bit cooler. Keep me burning to the break of day. Like that. That's all I do for that. Then I come back with the Lash Sensational, wherever she is. Right. I've done my bottom eyelashes. Where well, like, is that eyebrow stuff? Revolution blush palette. Oh, put it. What's there? Right there. There you go. There you go. Gem's somewhat blind. I'm going to blush as well with the Life's a Peach. Again, it smells like peaches. I've got a bit of a obsession with peaches. When people slag off their exes, that was the other ick. <coughs> yeah, if they slag them off to you when you're talking, that is probably, isn't it? Yeah, so when, yeah, them. no, no one wants to get into a, um, like, a talking stage and talk about their exes, do they? Mm. Like, say if I was talking Sometimes. to a boy and someone spoke to me and was like, oh, my ex did this, my ex did that. That's not, no. But... In a way that... Yeah, but sometimes it might come up and that is out of your control. But if you're constantly talking about them, no one wants to hear it. But if it's to your friends, say you're friends with someone and they, you just have a bit of a slag session off, a like slagging off session about your exes and stuff, mm. I think that's 100% normal, isn't it? Well, I will slag my ex off to you. I'm going to put that out there and I'm going to say it because I do. Everyone does. Everyone slags their exes off. It's normal. Boys do it as well. Girls do it. Boys do it. Everyone does it. Fair enough, yeah. In a talk, if you're talking, like say I'm talking to someone new and I'm constant on about my ex and slagging them off, yeah, that will be put off. But if it's your friends, I guess it just means, like, in what context, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, who it is you're talking to about your ex and why. 
And how far after are you talking about your ex? Yeah. Is that what I mean? Mm. What am I doing? Where's my eyelash glue? There. Alright, so I'm um, putting on some Bahama lashes. Don't know what they are. Don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Can you put. Oh no. Jam! Jam! Can you bring me some eyelashes to wear? Oh, I've you. just ripped mine. <laughs> Got any of those? Oh, look, I've just ripped it. Oh, thank you. I literally don't have any. Here you go. What are those then? Oh, they're awful. They're shiny. <coughs> yeah. Just using a little, it's an eyebrow pencil to do some fake freckles. Because I was not dep depressed. No, you're not depressed. Blessed. blessed with freckles, like if someone just covers them up. I don't cover mine up. Uh, don't. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. I'm hungry again. You're always hungry. I literally don't understand how you're so hungry Stay all the time. Again. I want like a nice cocktail. Mmm, on the beach. On the beach. So I'm using the, the NYX Professional Matte Lip Liner. Orange face. That is not sharpened at all. So many comments saying, Oh, your face is a bit wet to face. I know. <laughs> oh my jeez. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's just pretend that none ever happened. Those are my little freckles that I don't think. And then I take my MAC lip liner in Spice. Give myself some lips. Just while I'm waiting for the eyelashes to dry. Silence. I like the silence. Some people hate silence, don't they? Mm. Like that. Sorry. Cut out again. Really then, enjoy these. Wow. I use Mac. I think it's Yash. Yash. Yeah. Yash. I'm using the Barry M Plump. Barry M. That swell, extra extra large, extreme lip plumper in the shade Bougie because you know. I'm bougie. bougie. Oh, I usually take my Fenty gloss, but I haven't got it, so I'm just going to use this right now. Um, Revolution chocolate lip gloss. So, what would your pick be? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have an ick. Eat many in cereal at night. That really does cringe me out. Yeah, but that's just weird. The other day when we were going to um, go to or whatever, Mark was eating cereal at night. Stepdad. Yeah, my stepdad was eating cereal at night, and I was like, "Sorry, what are you doing?" Yeah, that's but it's not just a eating thing. cereal at no, night. No, cereal mate. is for the morning. I like cereal at night. Depends if I've got cereal. Do you I like cereal at night? Don't ever talk to me. Hi. Okay. Bye. Oh. I don't know, I don't think I really have any. I don't like, oh yeah, I do, I definitely do. Long fingernails and <coughs> toenails. <coughs> Especially on boys, yeah, long that's fingernails. that's what I mean, that definitely. <sighs> no, no, Not gross feet as well. Like when their yeah, feet, they can't help I don't care. They can help having long toenails and fingernails. Cut your nails. Not Gross feet as well. Like when their yeah, feet. They can't help. Them. I don't care. They can help having long toenails and fingernails. Cut your nails. Do something with your nails. Do you know what? Don't paint them. I actually quite like boys when they have painted nails. Sorry, my hair's a bit greasy. Mine's crazy. I need and to do my styling. Huh? My hair's dying. Not dying. Oh, shitting hell. Can you pop my straighteners in, please? No idea. 
straighteners. I've done my hair because I did the, this was done with a dressing gown rope, believe it or not. Yeah. I know it looks a bit crazy. So you've got a bit of um, Tesco's girls only hair care dry shampoo here. <laughs> I will have a shower, don't worry, I'm not like later on disgusting it's just obviously just for the minute nothing wrong with a bit of dry shampoo nothing wrong these straighteners are giving me a hard time are they yeah i really do apologize on the straighteners behalf to be fair good on on ow so um yeah i'm going to grow my hair out because i've had enough of this shit. i thought you were gonna get extensions oh my jesus you're gonna get extensions Oh my goodness. I look like I'm applying to, applying, auditioning to be an old man. You can use the whole can. Yeah. Good. Right. So that's us done. That's isn't us it? done. It's now quarter to four, so. Not too bad. I mean, considering we've been chatting as well. Yeah. Bit of a transformation. 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 Ten. Oh, good. Just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. But yeah, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. The links will be in the description and in our bios. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.